Welcome to Community Connections for Saturday, June 20th. My name is Sue Van Oss, Director of Christian Formation at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Duluth, Minnesota. Each Saturday, we share five ways that we can show love for our neighbor. All the details on these projects and activities can be found on your screen and also on our website at www.stpaulsduluth.org slash community dash connections. I'd like to start this week with a prayer that Chum Duluth uses every day. Chum is the organization that is a collaboration of many different congregations, synagogues, temples, mosques in our local area who combine all their efforts to help those in need. On the Chum Duluth's Facebook page, they have a daily briefing every day, and they give real-time updates on the many needs in our community, as well as general information for all of us. I'd encourage you to check it out each day at facebook.com slash Chum Duluth. Each day they begin with this same prayer, and I'd like to begin our time together praying it. Pray for those who have been affected by the turbulent times that we find ourselves in. Pray for those who are suffering, that they will be healed. Those who are angry will find resolution. Those who are hopeless will once again find the light. And those who right now are filled with hate will once again find a way to love. They also have a daily quote in their daily briefings, and Thursday's was from Cornell West. It says, none of us alone can save the nation or the world, but each of us can make a positive difference if we commit ourselves to. So here's five ways that we can all commit ourselves to making a positive difference with our neighbors this week. The first is by doing window or outdoor visits with those in long-term care facilities. The governor has just issued this week new guidelines allowing for outdoor and window visits for those in long-term care facilities and is encouraging the immediate implementation of this. Those in long-term care facilities have experienced a great deal of isolation that in many ways has affected the mental health of many of them. So let's ease that by scheduling a visit with someone we know or even if we don't know anyone in a long-term care facility, you could call them and ask if there's someone who would love a little visit. The guidelines on how to go about window visits or outdoor visits are listed on the screen and on our website. The second way we can make a difference this week is by donating furniture to the families at the Steve O'Neill Apartments. They're in need of couches, love seats, dining room tables and chairs, dressers, two baby dressers that can be low dressers that perhaps could have a changing table put on top, and cookware sets in new or gently used condition. These are needed for the individual apartments. Contact Amy at CHUM if you have donations. And if you don't, perhaps someone in your neighborhood is looking to donate some furniture. So keep an eye out in your neighborhood. The third way we can make a difference is by providing undergarments to the clients that use the CHUM shelter. They're in need of new socks and underwear, either boxers or briefs for men and women and bras for women. The next time you place an order or shop at Target or Walmart or JCPenney, wherever you shop, please consider adding a package of undergarments to your cart for the shelter. If you'd like to drop them off to the shelter, the phone number to call is 720-6521 to schedule a drop off. The fourth way we can be of help is also related to CHUM. They're really on the front lines of making sure every person in Minnesota has a roof over their head. And they ask for our help in supporting the Minnesota Homeless Coalition's call to action, which is called Homes for All. Housing instability really threatens individuals, families, and students. More than one in four households in Minnesota are housing cost burdened, an increase of more than 70% since 2000. Minnesota will thrive when everyone has a place to call home. And right now there's a legislative proposal that strengthens the housing situation in all corners of the state. 
More information can be found on Minnesota Coalition or the Homes for All Legislative Action websites listed on the screen. Please consider looking into this and signing up and adding your name and contacting legislators. Or there's other ways that you can help to support this important effort. The final way is I have a simple Father's Day gift idea for all those last minute shoppers that you might not have realized that Father's Day is tomorrow, or really for anyone to support our local neighbors, those who own restaurants. You know, COVID-19 is having a profound impact on Northland restaurants, with many facing unforeseen challenges and tough decisions on how to safely maintain business operations, support staffs, and keep their doors open to the public and we can do something about it together. There's an organization called Strong Northland, which is a collective effort by the Greater Downtown Council, the Chamber of Commerce, and Visit Duluth, along with many other supportive partners to provide uh, prepaid restaurant vouchers. There's a special site called Strong Northland, where you can support local restaurants by purchasing a voucher. So we encourage you to do that, help support our local restaurants, and it's a great uh, gift idea for yourself or someone else. So make sure you're staying safe and well as you care for others. Continue to look at the updated guidelines and news updates at stay, staysafe.mn.gov. That's where you'll find all the latest updates. Uh, we are blessed that Minnesota is on the downward trend uh, in terms of the COVID-19 pandemic, some states are not in that situation. So we can urge you to continue to stay safe, wear a mask, practice social distancing, and show love for your neighbors this week. Blessings to all.